your destination is there. You know the money is waiting for you. So when you look at your manifestations, when you visualize something, you, you know that it is done. You know that this thing is just waiting for you. So you have to take the action in order to get it without worrying about ifs, hows, whys, what ifs, all these things. Don't worry about all those things. Welcome back to the channel. This is Reality Transurfing Chapter 23, Resolve to Act. I really like this chapter because it goes over taking action in your 3D world from an internal state, an internal conception of yourself. But when you take action in your 3D world, not to worry about how it's going to happen, why it's going to happen, if it's going to happen, not worry about all those things, but rather create a calm confidence in the things that you are manifesting into your world, which I really, really like about this chapter. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is principle. And if there is something that you need or something that you want, do not waste any energy procrastinating over it. Just take what is yours. Take what is yours as if you had received a card from the post office asking you to collect a parcel. So I'm gonna give you an example of how you can use this to create whatever you want in your world. So when you have changed your conception of yourself, you visualized you know, being a new person or having something, having a million dollars, and you visualize this over and over and over or affirmed it over and over and over, and now you find yourself taking action, like automatically taking action, this is what you need to focus on. Just like what he said right here. So take what is yours as if you have received a card from the post office is asking you to collect a parcel. So imagine that somebody gave you a parcel or a card saying that you have to go to this location to pick up $10 million. I mean, what would you do? Like your actions would be automatic. You would get in, you would get in your car or you would do something to get to the post office as soon as possible. You wouldn't be worried about all these other things. You, your destination is there. You know, the money is waiting for you. So when you look at your manifestations, when you visualize something, you, you know that it is done. You know that this thing is just waiting for you. So you have to take the action in order to get it without worrying about ifs, hows, whys, what ifs, all these things. Don't worry about all those things. The money is there for you at the destination. So start automatically manifesting these things and start working your way towards them and stop procrastinating. Take what is yours, like he says right here. And he gives some examples right here too. So if what you need right now is a bus or a parking spot, a purchase, a document, an exam, an interview, a meeting, anything. Do not just think about it. Go out and get it. Just like just like that, that example. There's a million dollars. Somebody gave you a letter saying you have $10 million waiting for you at this address. You have a car in your garage. You have a car in your front yard. You're going to get it automatically. You're going to immediately get into that vehicle and you're going to drive to that address. You're not going to be worried about the, the ifs and hows and you're not going to be procrastinating at all. Just like with your manifestations, when you visualize something, that's the way you need to look at it. That destination is complete and you need to take the action in order to get there. So it's, but it's going to be automatic when you impress the subconscious mind. But this is also another way to know if you have impressed the subconscious mind because you're going to be taking automatic action towards that that goal being completed. You're going to be wanting to go because you know that it's going to be complete. You know you can have it. You know you're going to have it. You know that you already have it. So you know that the money's sitting at the destination. So you're trying to get there. And that's all you have to do. So when you do this, you're going to automatically let go of your worrying thoughts such as, but is it possible? How will I do it? Where will I find it? You know where it is. The money is waiting for you at that address. When you visualize it, it's there. It's already done. All you have to do is get to it. That's it. That's what he's saying here in this chapter. So ditch, get rid of all of your anxiety, hope and desire until all that you have left is a calm confidence. So focus on what it feels like to get what you want without all sorts of conditions or reasonings about it. Because a lot of times when, you're, when you start to focus on how I'm gonna get it, is this really possible for me? Those things are creating boundaries and barriers with the subconscious mind because when you start focusing on the obstacles, the subconscious mind is then gonna give you obstacles. But if you just focus on the end, you focus on the desired state being complete. The money is at the destination waiting for you. 
then that is what the, you're impressing the subconscious mind with, that there's not going to be any barriers. And if you have that feeling in mind that all you have to do is get into your car and drive to the address that's waiting for you, that's exactly what's going to happen because that's all you're focused on. As soon as you got the letter in the mail or somebody gave you that parcel saying that you have $10 million waiting at this address, you're not thinking about hows and whys and what ifs. You're, you're thinking about just getting there. And that's it because it's waiting for you there. So the subconscious mind feels that and then it creates you know, your safe passage there and it'll even help you get there. So he gives his own examples right here. Okay, so for example, I don't think about whether I'll be on time for the bus. If he's trying to catch a bus, whether the bus will come or how long I'll have to wait. I simply walk to the bus stop knowing that the bus will arrive at any moment. Let this state accompany you everywhere. So everything that you do, let this state, this ca calm confidence. I think that is, that is the focal point of this is keeping calm confidence uh, that your manifestation and everything that you do in life is leading you to that end of what you visualized, you know, and that will create it in itself and impress the subconscious mind with a straight line right to that. All right, so let's get into the interpretation here. So usually when you experience any momentary desire, an analyzer switches on in the brain and starts asking, but will it work or not? Will it work? See all these doubting, these doubts, okay? So a lot of times the analyzer will switch on in your mind because you're so used to doing that, seeing other people do that. Is, it, is this going to work out for me? Is this really true? Can this really happen to me? You know, all these things. So that analyzer in your brain is going gonna, is gonna to click on. But remember, you are not your brain. You are not your brain. You are out, You can get outside of yourself and observe the thoughts, observe the thinker and change all those things. And that's what's so powerful about this is that you are not your brain. So don't let your brain do that to you. Your brain sometimes cannot be trusted because if your life isn't the way that you want it to be right now, it's because your brain has led you there and you've connected yourself to the, your brain and allowed your brain to somewhat sabotage your life. So you have to remember you are not your brain. So when your brain starts over analyzing, take it back, take your power back and start focusing on your end goal and knowing everything about it, about how you are not your brain and how you can take your power back and then redirect the thoughts because the brain works for you. The brain really works for you, but you've connected with the, your ego has connected with it and you, your identity has connected with your brain. So you, you think your brain is actually you, but it's not. You can separate yourself from the brain and then con start controlling the brain. So when the brain starts thinking this way, Take your energy back. Take your power back and say, you want to know what? No, we're not thinking that because I, you are my servant. The brain is only meant for calculation only. You are, you are not your brain. So take your power back and say, wait a minute. No, we're not thinking that. So brain calculator, I want you to start thinking this way. I want you to, I want to train you to start focusing on the end goal and not worry about hows or ifs or is it possible for me? Train, retrain your brain, catch it and know that you are not your brain. So don't identify yourself with the brain. You are separate. Your brain is your servant. It works for you. You don't work for it. And just like what he says right here, you have to give up this harmful habit of allowing your brain to calculate on its own and, co and connect your identity to it. Take control of it. It is your servant. Use it as a calculator and start retraining it to focus, visualize, you know, or affirming this is all these things are doing is reprogramming and retraining the brain to focus on the end result instead of focusing in the middle of how it's going to happen. What if this am I am I do I deserve this? All these things. The brain is, is now trained for all that. So start retraining it. All right. So let's let Vadim Zeeland finish this up here. OK, desires are not fulfilled. Dreams do not come true, but pure intention manifests. It is not the desire itself that leads to manifestation, but the affirmation of what is desired. Intention is not about intensity or zeal. It is about quiet focus and resolve. If you doubt or fear, the world like any mirror will reflect your emotional state. And as a result, nothing will come of what you wanted. Whatever you do, do it with confidence. There was always a possibility of failure. However, your chances of success are greatly increased when you aren't wavering. What do you have to lose by letting go of doubt? If it works out, then great. 
If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Support can be found in the principle of coordinating intention. If you turn your thoughts concerning a seemingly negative event into positive thoughts, then that is exactly what the event will be. Think of consciously controlling your resolve to act as if you were directly controlling your measure of good luck. So I want to give you a challenge of an exercise based on this concept of the brain and the calculator focusing on all these things like the hows, do I deserve this, all these, you know, the, the wavering things that are going on, like your brain is, is trained this way. So I want you to do an exercise throughout the day. Just do this whenever you get a moment. Just observe your thoughts and see where they're going. When you're thinking about your goals, are you thinking about how it's going to happen or do I deserve this or what if, you know, can this really happen to me? You know, and notice that that is just your brain doing this. So look outside and then change it and know that that's not you. When you start getting those thoughts in your mind, know that it's just not you and then start visualizing or affirming the end goal to change that inner dialogue because that's what the brain is creating is this inner dialogue and then that's what's creating your 3D world. So do this a few times a day and notice when it's happening and remember that you are not your brain. Your brain is your servant. That's the calculator. It's meant for calculation and, and figuring out problems. So do not identify yourself with your brain. Your brain is a servant. It's meant to work for you. So you are not your brain. All right, that's the end of this video. I love you guys. And don't forget to give me one thing you are grateful for or any future content you would like me to look over. Put that in the column box below in the comments. And I read all the comments. So I want to hear all of your ideas, anything you have in your mind, any success stories, leave those in the column box below and I will see you in the next one.